This is Akash Bani Shillong, the North East News Bulletin, read by Miranda Bla. The Union Finance Ministry has sanctioned 2,000 crore rupees for Meghalaya to develop roads and logistics infrastructure under the second phase of the Meghalaya Integrated Transport Project, MITP. The new sanction was an outcome of the successful implementation of the MITP in the first phase and a meeting of Chief Minister Kondrat K. Sangma with Union Finance Minister Nirmala Sitharaman on June 24th, who had presented a case for the project and requested for additional financial support. The state government was thankful for the ministry for favorably considering the chief minister's request and sanctioning the funds. The first phase of MITP is being implemented with the support of 880 crore rupees from the World Bank. Mizoram and Assam yesterday agreed to continue to promote and maintain peace along the interstate border in their efforts to resolve the long-pending boundary dispute. Representatives of both the states held a ministerial-level meeting yesterday in Aizol for the fourth time, three years after the violent clash that took place in the disputed area near Mizoram's Bairangite town in July 2021. Speaking to reporters after the meeting, Assam's Border Protection and Development Minister Atul Bora, who led the neighbouring state's delegation, said the meeting was very positive and conducive and both the states are committed to find solutions to resolve the long-pending issue amicably. The next round of ministerial-level talks will be held in Guwahati before 31st of March next year. In Meghalaya, the cabinet has approved holding SSLC examination or class 10 board examination twice a year from the next academic year 2025 to help failed students to appear in the supplementary examination only for the subjects they have not passed. After the cabinet meeting in Shillong yesterday, Meghalaya Education Minister Rakam A. Sangma said that students who fail in the main exam SSLC, who to be held in February 2025, can reappear in the supplementary examination to be held in April or May 2025 after the declaration of the results for the main exam. He said that the government is following the national education policy beside central boards that used to conduct supplementary examinations after two months. In Manipur, five opposition Congress MLAs staged a walkout and decided to boycott the remaining sitting of the Assembly sessions after their private member members' resolution were rejected by the Speaker. The ongoing Assembly session will conclude on Monday. The private members' resolution submitted to the Speaker related to taking a unanimous decision in the House to seek appointment with the Prime Minister to resolve the crisis in Manipur. The session continued in the absence of five opposition MLAs and passed seven demands for grants for different departments. Chief Minister N. Bireng Singh introduced the Manipur Goods and Service Tax 7 Amendment Bill 2024 on the floor of the House, while Law and Legislative Affairs Minister introduced the National Law University Manipur Bill 2024. Meghalaya Chief Minister Conrad K. Sangma yesterday inaugurated an AI technology-based company, iMerit, at Shillong IT Park Umsauli in presence of Radha Basu, founder and CEO of iMerit. The company iMerit is an AI solution IT company with a workforce of 5,000-plus employees across the United States, Europe, Bhutan and India, with 200-plus employees in Meghalaya, consisting of 64% workforce as women. Terming Shillong as a preferred choice for setting up of IT-enabled companies, the Chief Minister said the government has initiated interventions to create an ecosystem for IT-enabled services to thrive. He also encouraged the young local workforce to take advantage of IT companies which are coming up in Shillong. Following political unrest in Bangladesh and potential impact of influx and illegal immigrants in the region, the Nagaland government is on high alert to prevent any infiltration of illegal immigrants in the state. Home Commissioner Vyasan R. yesterday said that deputy commissioners across the state have been instructed to activate all security coordination in their respective districts, intensify ILP checks with surprise inspections. Cross-border meetings with the Assam counterparts have been initiated to enable early warnings. And with that, we end the Northeast News Bulletin, which came to you from the Shillong station of Akashvani. Have a nice day.